Every community owes its existence and vitality to generations from around the world who contributed their hopes, their dreams, and energy to making the history that led to this moment. Some were brought here against their will, some were drawn to leave their distant homes in hope of a better life, and some have lived on this land for more generations than can be counted. Truth and acknowledgement are critical to building mutual respect and connection across all barriers of heritage and difference. We begin by acknowledging that the videos made in this project were generated on occupied traditional lands of native indigenous people. We live on these lands, our choruses sing on these lands, and those of you tuning in are watching this video on lands that indigenous people have stewarded throughout generations. The choruses in this video specifically stand on the lands of the Lakota and Sioux tribes, Multnomah, Wasco, Cowlitz, Clackamas, Taklamet, Tualatin, Bands of Chinook, Kalapoya, Malala, Coeur d'Alene, Spokane, Kalispell, and Confederated Colville tribes. Tongan land, the Tohono O'odham and Yaqui tribes. Cheyenne, Arapaho, and Ute. We pay respect to their elders, past and present. Please take a moment to consider the many legacies of violence, of displacement, migration, and settlement that bring us together here today. And please join us in uncovering such truths at any and all public events, and commit yourself to learning more about this history in your area. My name is Nikki Manlow. I use they, them pronouns, and tonight is a vindication. It is a vindication because we are watching the curtain pulled away to reveal the crooked scaffolds of a broken world. And as others betray their shock and awe, we smile and say that we have already known. We have already known that the world is built on rules that are lies and on promises that were made not to protect us. We have known for as long as they have tried to make us forget. This vindication is ours tonight, because tonight we say to the world how lucky you are. That we are new world builders. That we are gardeners who tend in dusty soil. That we have made feasts out of sticks and stones. That we have learned all your songs, but have sung our own too in strange and sacred voices. How lucky the world is for trans resilience because we have been made to move the world. Tonight, we are free to do what we do best, build wonder out of chaos. Who better to work in times of uncertainty than those of us who are unknowable and impossible? After all, when Marsha took her own name and her name was Pay It No Mind, what could she have been talking about but moments when the world seemed to be upended? When the world burned, Marsha Pay It No Mind Johnson put on her glowing crown of flowers, took to the streets and danced and marched, and certainly other things that we have known in the quiet moments with the family we have chosen. In fact, maybe it was Marsha who lit the world on fire in the first place. So it was, so it is, and so it will be, because it is what we have been taught and it is what we have taught ourselves. This project has been a labor of love by many hands, by many houses, and by many hearts, and it is for us. This place is for trans healing, this night is for trans memory and for trans celebration. May all who seek hope in trans healing, trans memory, and trans celebration find themselves here and be free. Too little light, too little water, too many rocks, too many stones in my head, too little light, too little water. I know the race, the race won't be a thing, so. 
My name is Ash, I use they them theirs pronouns, and I'm the Artistic Director for Transpose PDX, which was founded in 2017 in Portland, Oregon. Hi, I'm Bobby Kaiser, uh, my pronouns are they them theirs, and I am the board president of Spectrum Singers, which was founded in 2018 in Spokane, Washington. My name is Medora Kia, I use they them pronouns, and I'm the Artistic Director of SHOUT, Minnesota's Trans and Gender Diverse Voices. We're located in Minneapolis, Minnesota, and as the youngest group here, we've been around since autumn of 2017. Hello everyone, my name is Abdullah Rasheen Hall, you can call me Abby. My pronouns are they, them, theirs, and I am the Artistic Director of the Trans Chorus of Los Angeles, and I am also a gala board member for gala choruses. In 2015, the Trans Course of Los Angeles was formed and it's changed my life and so many others. In five years, we've been able to take our mission, which is changing the trans narrative from victim to victorious, using our voices to be visible, loud and proud. And we are so happy to be able to contribute to this wonderful program with our fellow choruses through Gala Choruses. Thank you. My name is Nikki Manlov. I'm the Artistic Director of THEM Youth Ensemble in Tucson, Arizona. THEM was founded in January of 2018, and we serve LGBTQ plus and allied youth from ages 13 to 24. Hi, my name is Sam Bullington, and I am the Founder and Director of Phoenix, Colorado's Trans Community Choir. Uh, we were founded in September of 2015, uh, and are the longest existing trans chorus in human history.
up again and say yes we can resilience. My name is Silent Charlie Wellington. My pronouns are they, them, theirs, and I'm going to read a poem that I wrote titled When I Look at My Family Tree. And first I will sing a song from the Reclaiming Witchcraft tradition. This song was written by one of our beloved dead, Lizanne. Where is the grief of our ancestors etched? Etched in the earth of our bone? Where is the strength of our ancestors etched? Etched in the earth of our bone. Where is the grief? Where is the strength? Etched in the earth of our bone. Where is the grief? Where is the strength? Etched in the earth of our bone. When I look at my family tree, I want to see drag queens. I want to see genderfuck aliens and pansy boy princes. I want to see men with crescent moon scars on their chest, beaming forth with full moon magic. I want to see girls who haven't learned how to stop their lipstick from bleeding, and who had to learn makeup hidden in closets full of stale boy clothes. I want to see that girl in the closet find just the right contour that when she looks into the curved mirror of the star goddess universe, she falls in love with the woman she's always known herself to be. When I look at my family tree, I want to see Odin and Loki and all their transsexual glory, not cloaked in aggression, but taking the spotlight exactly when they're cross-dressing, becoming vulvas, giving birth after shape-shifting into female horses, and practicing all kinds of wily feminine magics, riding say their staffs into the web of all things. When I look at my family tree, I want to see knights who hide tulips in their pants, who became the only earnest Prince Charmings, whose lovers never realized they were getting fucked by flowers. When I look at my family tree, I want to see writers who bend language, who build a room of words big enough to fit the world inside, big enough for all the queer boys in my eyes to find exactly the right fragment mirror. When I look at my family tree, I want to see an instruction manual for Molotov cocktails and the blueprints for a star house. I want to see women with five o'clock shadows who refused to pass, who said it was always more fun being Sylvia. I want to see street kids finding the bridge from the piers into queer utopias, some bridge where officers stopping them for upper female impersonation got distracted by the glitter behind their ears, fell into a midsummer night's sleep, and all the action revolutionaries got to dance a queer city's decree. When I look at my family tree, I want to see a stone butch singing the blues. I want to see a ring of keys and dungarees. I want to see gay boys pulling giant condoms over the marquee. I want to hear a voice crack and bellows of a truth finally set free. When I look at my family tree, I want to see transcestors that broke out of the fucking matrix, that didn't even need to eat some forbidden red pill fruit, who knew all along that this world was not enough, that we could be bigger, brighter, that there was still more for the light to give. When I look at my family tree, I want to see queerness so evident it cannot be denied. I want to see it pulsing through the lifeblood of everything as surely as it already does. I want the silences to twist snakes around this legacy of erasure, twist so tightly that the closets break, jaws falling open with every last queer delight, finally spoken, undeniable, taking root and taking flight. Ladies, gentlemen, the genderless, multi-gendered, and beyond, I'm Xerxes Lucius, my pronouns are they, them, theirs, and I sing with Shout in Minneapolis. Our next presentation is the reading of the names. 
In 1999, transgender advocate Gwendolyn Ann Smith created a vigil to honor the memory of her daughter, Rita Hester, a trans woman who was killed in 1998. We continue that tradition today. 2020 has been a long year, and I want to thank all of you for coming together, not only to honor the dead, but to celebrate the vibrancy of trans resilience and existence. We recently elected the first trans members of Congress, both Taylor Smalls and Sarah McBride, community organizations like Black Lives Matter and the missing and murdered indigenous women, girls, and two spirits continue to fight for racial and gender justice. Trans and gender nonconforming lives still have a higher rate of violence, police brutality, and suicide to our cis counterparts. Sadly, the majority of names on this list are people of color and over half are African Americans. A solemn reminder that our community will not find justice until Black Lives Matter. As we read these names, we think of all the names that we do not know or never had a chance to find themselves. Please say them with us, aloud or in your hearts. Aaron Burnett, Independence, Missouri. Alex McCray, St. Louis, Missouri. Angela Martinez Gomez, Santa Monica, California. Bree Nook Black, Pompano Beach, Florida. Mercy Mack, Dallas, Texas. Asia Raquel Roan Spears, Portland, Oregon. Key Sam, Lafayette, Louisiana. Alexa, Alexa Negron Luciano. Neulisa Luciano Ruiz. Toa Baja, Puerto Rico. Yampi Méndez Arocho, Moca, Puerto Rico. Penélope Díaz Ramírez, Bayamón, Puerto Rico. Michelle Michelin Ramos Vargas, Puerto Rico. Tatiana Hall, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Selena Reyes Hernandez, Chicago, Illinois. Sarah Blackwood, Indianapolis, Indiana. Lorena Borjas, Queens, New York. John Scott DeVore, who was genderqueer and also went by Scott Lee Kelly DeVore. Augusta, Georgia. Nina Pop, Sykeston, Missouri. Mia Green, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Henrietta Robinson, Miami, Florida. Ashley Moore, Newark, New Jersey. Name unknown, age range 16 to 20, Chicago, Illinois. The decomposed body of a young black trans person found in an abandoned building. Their gender presentation identified them as a trans woman. Raya Milton, Liberty Township, Ohio. Serena Angelique Velasquez Ramos, Puerto Rico. Summer Taylor. Monica Diamond, Charlotte, North Carolina. Shaky Peters, Amit City, Louisiana. Jane Thompson, Mesa County, Colorado. Tony McDade, Tallahassee, Florida. Rayla Stone, Sherwood, Arkansas. Drea McCarthy, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Tiffany Harris, Bronx, New York. Haley Joe O'Regan, San Antonio, Texas. Johanna Metzger, Baltimore, Maryland. Kwaisha D. Hardy, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Shelly Lynn Rose, City Unknown. Camila Maria Concepcion, Los Angeles, California. Angel Haynes, Memphis, Tennessee. Gia Valentina Ronaldo Rodriguez, Miami, Florida. Leila Palez Sanchez, Puerto Rico. Lexi, New York. New York. Egypt Powers, Akron, Ohio. Dominique Remy Bells, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Dustin Parker, McAllister, Oklahoma. Ellie Che, Bronx, New York. And Felicia Harris, Augusta, Georgia. Brooklyn 
Deshana. Isabella Mia Lofton, Brooklyn, New York. Marilyn Cazares, Brawley. Phoenix writes a lot of our own material, so we're going to share one of our original songs with you now. This song came out of a collaboration that we did with Mosaic Gospel Choir here in Boulder. Racial justice is key to our mission as a chorus, and so we were very moved by one of the songs we did together for the concert, Janelle Monae's Hell You Talking About, a song that arose from the Black Lives Matter movement. So after the concert, I approached Silen, the accompanist for Phoenix, who was a music composition student at CU Boulder, about writing a song together about the white fear and history of white violence driving the murder of black people in contemporary US society. In the song, we trace the consciousness raising journey of a young white man who first responds to racialized violence through the lens of mainstream media narratives, but through his own process of awakening and through an encounter with a young black man on the street, begins to see the situation as well as himself quite differently. We first performed the song in 2017 in a collaborative concert with the Denver Gay Men's Chorus, and unfortunately, it is perhaps even more relevant today.
My name is Phoenix Lambert and I am a member of Spokane Spectrum Singers and had the pleasure of being one of the soloists in the song Still Standing. I feel like Still Standing speaks to me, especially as a trans person who has struggled with my identity most of my life. I've been lucky that I've been able to come out and transition. Right now, with everything going on, especially with so many people trying to take away our rights, it's important that we continue to fight against all adversity and be true to ourselves and still stand even with everything else going on and be who you really are. Thank you for allowing me the pleasure of sharing a little bit of my story with you. You can never know what it's like Your blood like a winter Breeze is just like ice, and there's a cold, lonely light that shines from you. You wind up like the wreck you had behind that mask you use. And did you think this fool could never win? Well, look at me, I'm coming back again. I got a taste of love in a simple way And if you need to know why I'm still standing You just fade away Don't you know I'm still standing Better than I ever did Looking like a true survivor Without you on my mind Once again I'm going to hope to win Start down the road leaving me again Friends made men to cut me down The love was just a circus You'd be a clown by now My name is Dominique Morgan. Uh, my pronouns are she, her, and hers, and I am the executive director of Black and Pink National. Oh my gosh, Dominique, it is such an honor to be here with you today and to have you at this event. Uh, I'm wondering if you can tell us a little bit about how you think the work that Black and Pink does embodies the idea of trans resilience. The work that I try to sow into my community is about taking my people from a space of survivorship to being able to recognize what they've overcome and to um, appreciate their resiliency. But the ultimate goal is to be able to thrive. There is a, there is a goal past resiliency um, that most folks don't talk about when it comes to Black people and, and specifically Black trans women, um, system impacted or formerly incarcerated um, um, trans folks of, of this space where we can sit in abundance for self, and abundance for community. So um, we definitely are holding tight. And for folks who are just like, listen, all I can do is be resilient right now, I receive it. But we also are constantly saying, let's envision what is past resilience and let us and let us, Black and Pink specifically, let's do the work to, to engage in solidarity to get you there. Yes, absolutely. There's, there's this element of 
bitterness, right? Like to observe someone um, being brilliant in spite of inhospitable conditions, right? right? Um, right. And I think this is so, so essential to the trans experience and especially the experience of trans people of color like you identified. So thank you so much. Obviously, uh, it's interesting for us to be filming this now. Um, we're filming this the week before the election and this will um, be broadcast several weeks after the election. Um, mm -hmm. And we're sort of observing this national, some people have called it a reckoning, I don't know about that word, but with um, systems of violence, um, white supremacy, mm -hmm. capitalism, uh, a, a wrecked and rotten healthcare system. And of course, trans people have known that these things are broken for so long. None of this is new to us. Right. Um, but we're watching the, the mainstream public start to grapple with them for, in some ways, the first time. Right. So I'm wondering if you can talk just a little bit about how you understand this uh, complex present moment in your work with Black and Pink. For people to really engage in accountability and also reckoning, you have to believe and respect the power of the people who are trying to hold you accountable, who are trying to engage in that. And I don't believe that white people will ever step into a space where they recognize the power of black folks, black trans women specifically. And I am not a advocate of wasting my time on anything that doesn't feel fruitful. Um, so while I am excited by I think I would call it more of an uprising. I would call it more of, 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 of community development because you're seeing so many incredible folks, especially incredible young folks come together and, 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 and express their hurt, express their joys, um, challenge these systems for the first time or have these ahas that, that they can even challenge them, that they get to decide our taxes or, and all these other things are, are creating these folks' salaries. Therefore, we should be able to dictate what they do for us and how it happens. You're seeing these incredible young folks have that aha. Um, I think I think that's what I cling to, and I cling to doubling down on the investment of my people um, and doing that direct investment of, of, of engaging in mutual aid. And no matter who's in the White House, what I can tell you, that none of them are going to put my identities first on the list of people who matter. It doesn't matter who won what race, no one was going to say, first on my list is Black trans women. Nobody was going to say that. And, 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 and I say that to say, so then I am always in a space where I'm, I'm, I'm believing in myself and I'm believing in my community. Black folks, Black trans folks, this, this, this community of, of, of trans people, we've been taking care of each other since the beginning of time. Um, and we've always, been all right. <laughs> Going back. Thank you so much. Uh, just a, one final question. I'm wondering if you have any words of healing to uh, some trans people who will be watching this concert. Um, music and the arts for queer folks. We're magic, period. But, but the arts and music is where we flex our magic. Um, the, you know, and the arts is a spectrum, visual, design, TV, comedy, you know, you're seeing, you see art on Instagram all day. That's art. That's someone's art, right? That's where we, that's where we, you know, a magician gets on the stage with their rabbit and their hat. Queer folks, trans folks, and GNC folks specifically, we get to the arts and we pull out our, you know, our top hat and our rabbit and we, and we get to engage in incredible magic. Thank you so much. Dominique, you are such a gift and you have so much brilliance and we're so lucky Thank to you. have you. Thank you. How glad I am 
to be alive on this morning. How glad I am to be alive on this day. Oh, summer's coming with guns a blazing. Well run dry, and it ain't worth saving that I am easy. Oh. How glad I am to be alive on this Birds are singing, and the bell is ringing, and the neighbors walking, and they're all talking, and I am easy. Oh. How glad I am to be. A friend that I know a girl that died, but I am alive. Yes, I am alive, and I am easy. Yes, I. My name is Riley, my pronouns are they, them, and I am a member of Accord. This song, Best of the Best of Times, is a song about when the world feels like it's ending, and we hope you find it uplifting. We're a long way, long way from the best of the best of times. When the world speaks, it rattles through me like an antique. Or maybe it rings like an old bell, wishing us some kind of farewell. A wave in the wind or a beacon, the batten down end of the season. Lullaby blue with its two doves, shod in the heat of the summer. And truer than words are a long way. Long way from the best of the best of times. There's a broken clock tower out in the ocean, holding me under the table, tearing me down like a cradle, drowning me out with a name and Beryl in hand and an old lang sign And everything's fine, we're a long way Long way from the best of the best of times A long way, long way from the best of the best of times Oh, you had a high Oh, you had
our days are unnumbered If one is the same as another Whether we mistook the colors For the real thing it will bring out We're big and broken and somehow True and blue and they come to Pulled from the rank in the daybreak All equal and safe we're a long way Long way from the best of the best of times A long way, long way from the best of the best We're a long way, long way from the best of the best of times A long way, long way from the best of the best of times Far from being vulnerable victims or dangerous deviants, trans people are leaders and teachers of future ways of being. In a time of unprecedented political polarization, the future is non-binary. Our way forward from this time of collective crisis will be based in the breaking down of duality. It will be based in creativity and innovation, flexibility and fluidity, and multiplicity. All key strengths of trans communities. In this trying time, trans folks know intimately that things are not always what they appear. So do not be misled by surface appearances. We are right on the cusp of a major breakthrough, a collective evolutionary leap to a higher level of consciousness. Trans people are fundamental to this shift, as we are the experts in transformation. Future trans living will be rooted in self-honoring and community-based leadership. We as trans people know the necessity of living our truths. We know the necessity of transformation. So who better than to illuminate the way forward? Hello, my name is Dr. Katherine Davis. I am the executive director of the Trans Chorus of Los Angeles. And I'm here to introduce our next song, a beautiful love song by not only a wonderful singer, but a strong ally of our chorus. This song is called Don't Give Up on Love and is a true story about not giving up on those who love us and not giving up on giving love to those who need it. So without further ado, here is Maggie Zabo and Don't Give Up on Love featuring the Trans Chorus of Los Angeles. Thank you. 
My name is Ruth Ann, my pronouns are they, them, and I'm with Them Youth Ensemble. This next piece is called And We'll Be Free, and we wrote it collaboratively over the past three months. This song is our collective imagining of a world that we want to live in and that we will build together. Trans people and young people have always had the bravest visionings of a world that is better for everyone. Tonight, we add our voices to theirs by committing to a world where we'll be free. To my others, my lovers, siblings, sisters, and brothers, let's build a world made for us two. We'll hold all of each other in full range of colors, fight the struggles that tie me to you. Hello, how's it going? My name is Jay McBride. I am a comedian in Brooklyn, New York, who happens to be trans. Uh, I hope you're having a wonderful quarantine. Uh, as they, I don't, I don't even remember how long it's been going on for. Uh, it's like all I know, like I measure this quarantine by how many times I messed up my bangs. Like so far, I caught my bangs, hated them, grew them in, caught them again because I'm an idiot. I'm up to five. We're up to five so far. But then I read that the 1918 flu was actually a ten bagger. So, um, you know, we're about halfway, you know, you know, if it's as bad, it'll be halfway, but I think we're almost over it. So, so we're about, about a five banger. I'm also like, I'm also wearing pajama pants. I just want, want you to see that I'm wearing pajama pants. Um, I changed my shirt. I'm wearing this. I've been wearing these pajama pants since the pandemic started. I'm doing this whole like 
great expectations, Mrs. Havisham kind of thing, you know, where, uh, where I look at society as my jilted lover and uh, I haven't changed since I was jilted. So I'm walking around like, and if you don't believe me, this is my slipper, okay? This, this is what my slipper looks like. This, this, I, I don't, this isn't even a slipper. It's the world's saddest Muppet. But this is what, what happened during the, the pandemic. I, I, like, uh, yeah, I, don't, I have the same footwear as a 1920s hobo. Um, so that's where I'm at. But things are getting better, and uh, I am uh, hopeful. Things are looking up. That That's the moral of this story. I'm getting a lot of online dating requests, too, which uh, is very, very weird. When, when, you know, when your only option is online, you really see the worst. Like, usually I just go online to reject white guys. Like, that that's, that's my thing. That's my jam. Um, but I've been paying more attention. I actually got this message from someone who's so creepy he's like uh, hey come on over to my place just uh take a bus and uh you'll have to crawl in through the window because i live with my mom then he said how do you feel about threesomes and if i pay you twenty dollars will you pee on me ugh, yeah ugh. i'm like ugh. take a bus ugh. 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 gross uh, i <laughs> Just my chair. I also made some wonderful greeting cards. I uh, see my brother. Uh, I do have a brother who disowned me um, when he found out I was trans, but I try and take the high road, you know. Like when I heard he and his wife had a child, I sent them the nicest greeting card. Uh, it says, Congratulations, it's a boy for now. And if you think I'm kidding, I really have it. Uh, yeah, I made this out just uh, there I am. That's like me when I with, with bags that I didn't mess up. Uh, I don't know. And apparently 20 years younger. Uh, I feel like this political season has done it, us all in. Uh, I'm pretty sure my uh, testosterone has doubled since it started. So I'm glad this is coming to an end and wrapping up. Um, and otherwise, yeah, I uh, got to have a show last night with a uh, Miss Cracker, drag queen. I, I, don't, I, I didn't know who, who they were. Uh, but you know that was fun, and I think I think it's interesting doing a show with a drag queen because people like assume trans people are like drag queens uh, until they meet us and realize we're way less fun and way more into anime, and, and then they get the difference. So um, hope you guys are all doing better. I this is it's coming to an end. We're turning the corner. We're making it through. So if you need something, just call someone, reach out. It's that time of year. You know, it's we're almost up to Trans Day of Remembrance, you know, which is a big day. November 20th, Trans Day of Remembrance, which I tell all my street friends. I tell them about all the trans holidays. There's like Trans Day of Remembrance. Then we have Trans Day of Visibility in the spring. And I tell them about the other ones, uh, like wear a funny hat if you're Trans Day. Um, bring a tranny to work day. Uh, you know, I make sure all my friends uh, are take part in all that. If they want to be good allies, I tell them, you'll wear a funny hat, okay? And not like something with like a taco or nothing, no cultural appropriation, okay? Like no head, no headdress or anything, you know, white people. So uh, that's, that's right. Thank you guys so much. And I really hope you're all doing well and reach out if you need something to anyone. Reach out to me. I'm bored. Look at me. Look at me. What am I doing? I'm, I'm not washing my pajamas. That, that's literally it. That's my... That's my corn. Thank you so much. Salutations. My name is Gia Ryan Olias Miramontes. I go by she, her, her, and they, them, their pronouns. I'm the choreographer of the Trans Chorus of Los Angeles. This next song has all the choruses united as one to deliver a message of hope, resiliency, and a resistance to any erasure of the existence of transgender, gender non-conforming, and intersex people. Please enjoy. Ain't gonna let nobody turn me around.